So today we invite the yoga master Darby to help us answer some question from the students. Namaste. Hopefully I can help you. What's the Ashtanga Yoga? Um, Ashtanga Yoga it actually means eight limbs, Ashtanga. Uh, and so that's well, there's eight limbs in this yoga practice, uh, yamas, niyamas, asana, pranayama, prachyara, dharana, dhyana, and samadhi. And we try to incorporate the essence of all of these in our practice. Uh, but we do it's, it's more of a physical practice we're doing, but we want to incorporate the essence of the other seven limbs in our daily practice. Most people believe that what we see in Ashtanga Yoga is just postures, which is a, a series of movements we do, a set series, a primary series which has 26 postures, intermediate series also has 26 postures, and also there's advanced A and B um, from the more advanced students. And each sequence is linking to the next, and each posture is a link to the previous and to the one that's coming up. So it's a, it's a very good system. Um, there's also the standing postures and also the finishing postures. But this is the physical part of it, but it does incorporate in Ushtanga practice uh, breath, bandhas or dantians, and dristi, the gaze. So we incorporate these three parts, which is the essence of the other eight limbs. So first thing that I learned, the first thing was not the postures, but the breathe. Just inhale, exhale. So this is very important. Everything we do in the Ashtanga practice revolves around this movement of breath. In fact, it's called vinyasa. Vinyasa means movement around the breath, movement with the breath. So every movement is incorporating the breathing. If we want to bring the essence of dharana, the concentration, then we need to concentrate on this breathing and make sure it's even from the beginning of the practice to the end. So we're just not breathing in and breathing out. We control the breathing. We really control. So this is a pranayama. And again, it's just the essence of pranayama. It's not really pranayama. Um, what's going to happen then if we get so involved in observing our breath and movement, we're going to forget what's happening exterior. We forget the outside world. We, in the room, we focus within. So this is the prachara coming within, losing the senses for exterior things. And then there's so many things to observe, to concentrate on. To, in the practice of remember, just reaching how we adapt the muscles. Uh, the movements themselves take concentration. Just observing the breath takes a great deal of concentration. And, and it is, it's willpower to control this breathing, even breathing during the practice. And then it becomes even more, it becomes much more what is really happening with the chi. There's the chi flowing in my body. You start to feel deeply within the inner movements, not the exterior movements. So we're getting the dhyana and the samadhi is just an extension of that, which is you know, a long, long way away. So the Ashtanga practice isn't just doing yoga postures. It incorporates the eight limbs. Uh, first two, yin, two limbs are really the modes of uh, conduct and cleanliness of the body and disciplines. You want to incorporate those. So it really becomes a way of life and from doing it, the practice, there is a reflection that comes to you afterwards. So it's a, it's a great thing. So just not asana, doing yoga postures, many other things incorporated in the Ishtanga practice. But as a beginner, just start doing asana with your breathing. Work with the breath. Very important. Hopefully that helps you out.